remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Gosu Lakpabio, has reiterated the federal government's commitment to complete the reconstruction of the East-West Road by the end of 2021. Senator Akbabio gave the assurance recently while inspecting some projects executed in Rivers and Aquaibum states by the federal government. Correspondent Lovely Ofigo has more. In line with the federal government's resolve to complete the East-West Road reconstruction project by the end of 2021, Senator Akbabio recently inspected the level of progress achieved on critical sections of the road in Aquaibum and Rivers states. His first port of call was Eket in Akwaibom State, where he noticed that under the Buhari administration, efforts have been made to address the challenge of inadequate funding, which is largely responsible for the non-completion of the project. We don't want any budgetary stop. Therefore, my ministry is putting over two-thirds of the 2021 budget into this road. NDC will also make contribution towards this. And the federal government is also determined to put money, even if it comes from the service wide route, to ensure that this route by December ne next year is completed for the use of the people. In River State, Akpabio was at the badly damaged port along the Eleme Oner section of the East West Road. Here, the Honorable Minister decided to carry out an on the spot assessment of the dilapidated Okuru bridges at Aleto in Eleme local government area. The federal government under President Muhammad Buhari is very determined to ensure that the East-West Road in totality is completed in the shortest possible time. I thank the President for his uh, latest decision that the, the, the road should return to the Ministry and that we should expedite action immediately. And he has released money to that effect. We have paid RCC about 4.9 billion and, we are, and they are on it. And I'm assuring them that as soon as they bring the IPC, my, my Permanent Secretary will take care of it. But what we have seen here also requires urgent action. In June this year, Akbabio met with contractors handling sections 1 to 4 of the East-West Road reconstruction project shortly after the federal government released about 20 billion naira for its completion. At the meeting, Senator Akbabio had urged contractors to ensure speedy completion of the project that had suffered undue delay on account of lack of funds to execute it since it was first awarded in 2006. With the renewed commitments to the completion of the project, Akpabio is optimistic that it would be delivered on record time to offer Niger Delta communities a new lease of life. As part of his recent working visit to the Niger Delta, Senator Akpabio also inspected an ongoing project for the construction of a permanent corporate headquarters building for the NDDC in Port Harcourt. The project initiated over 20 years ago by the defunct Oil Mineral Producing Areas Development Commission on PADEC was awarded to several contractors who could not deliver. Owing to the non-completion of this project over the years, the commission had been compelled to expend as much as 300 million naira annually on rentage. It was to block leakages in the system that Senator Akpabio decided to review the contract process for the completion of the NDDC headquarters project in Port Harcourt. At a meeting with interim management of the NDDC, Senator Akpabio expressed satisfaction with the level of progress achieved so far on the project. It's to the glory of President Muhammad Buhari, the CFR, that we are standing inside the edifice of the Niger Delta Development Commission. This feat uh, could not have been achieved without the cooperation of members of the interim management committee and then the directors in the ministry and the entirety of the staff. And for the press, I think this is positive for Nigeria. The project for the construction of a permanent headquarters for the NDDC, having reached a completion stage of over 98%, is expected to be commissioned in no distant time. Inside the Niger Delta, 